Did you know that Bridgecom is now making a GMRS HT as well as the FRS HT that released last week? So let's check this out. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio, but also in GMRS radio. Been doing a lot of GMRS videos recently. My GMRS call sign is WFKN311. Hope to work you on GMRS air sometime. So Bridgecom released an FRS radio uh, last week, which they're dubbing the Bridgecom Buddy. And today, when this video airs, will be the release date for their new Bridgecom Echo radio. Their 3-watt GMRS HT. We're going to take a look at it right now. So it is small and compact. It's very lightweight. I don't have the battery on it right now. This is what the box looks like here. I'm not going to really do an unboxing. I'm just going to show you what's in the box. So little itty-bitty manual here. Battery. Belt clip. This is a USB wall wart for a USB... I'm sorry, a... a wall wart for a usb plug and the charging cradle has usb on this end so it doesn't directly plug usb into the radio but you can take this charging cradle and obviously plug it into a car or to a charging brick if you're out in the field or something like that the really cool thing about it is that it's got this really large battery on it this battery is 2200 milliamp hours it's really thick when you pull it out you feel how heavy it is got a good uh, good base to it Right there. The belt clip attaches to the radio itself, not to the battery. So you don't have to get an extra belt clip should you choose to grab another battery for it. One. Okay, so it's got the standard standard uh, K connector, Kenwood style K connector, just like their FRS radio did last week, just like most Baofeng radios have. Got your PTT here. That's a monitor open button right there. See that button there? opens the monitor. This is your volume. This is your channel changing knob. Two, three, four, five. Oh, it seems faster now. Okay, maybe I was Six. not letting it boot up quick enough or something. So this right here. Ah, now you've got a, an alarm. So you can <laughs> tell the, <laughs> turn the alarm off. Most of your GMRS radios have some sort of panic alarm, panic button, something like that. Got a really solid looking front face there. Very uh, kind of like a commercial grade. This uh, small opening right here is your microphone. This is, of course, is the speaker. If we turn this knob all the way up. Nine, 10, 11. It's actually quite loud. So that's uh, that makes for a really loud speaker, which is easier to hear in the field and uh, does pretty well. So I'm gonna take this over here. I'm gonna go back to channel, Nine. channel one. It's that six. Wow, got to turn it down. Sheesh. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, it's it's okay. When I first booted it up, I turned the knob. Maybe I didn't turn it quick enough. It's Two, kind of a three, loose turning knob. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's doing good. Two, one. WFKN three eleven testing a new radio. WFKN three eleven, just like that. Uh, they sent me two of these. By the way. The link to this radio will be in the description below, as, as well as the link to their FRS radio that they released last week. The FRS radios are sold in two packs. These radios are sold individually. The cool thing about a GMRS license is that they cover your entire household. So your wife, your kids, your grandma, whoever might live you, with you in the same household. My wife could use WFK311 if we both went out into the field. And we're using GMRS. My wife is a ham, so we've never actually done that. She has used ham radio quite a bit. But the cool thing about a GMRS license is that it's you just you just sign up for it online, you pay a one time well, you pay a fee for a 10 year license, and then you it covers your whole household. Very easy. There's other channel, there's other videos on my channel about GMRS, how to get into it, what's involved in that kind of thing. So check those out when you can. One, two. Okay. WFKN 311 testing. WFKN 311 testing a new radio. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely got a really loud speaker to it. WFKN 311. Yep, too loud. <laughs> I don't want to squeal that much in the microphone, but WFKN 311 is my, my GMRS call sign. So these have a really good solid feel to them. Uh, they're nice and thick on the back here. Again, the 
belt clip to attaches right here and it just slides on the belt clip just slides on put the belt clip on it right there right there and now you got a belt clip so i'm going to take these to my hunting lease the next time i go out there and hand them to a couple of the a couple of the guys on the lease one other guy on my hunting lease has his ham radio license two of the other guys have their gmrs license so i'm going to hand these radios we were using some midland gmrs radios a couple weekends ago when we were out there so i'm going to hand these radios to them and see how they compare these are three watt radios uh, it's 30 channels covers uh, uhf 462 to 467 with a 25 kilohertz channel spacing that's pretty common uh, it has Blanks of channels for uh, channels one to seven, channels 15 to 30. Uh, 12 and a half kilohertz spacing for channels eight to 14. Channels eight to 14 are the ones that are shared with FRS. So the power output permissible, the permissible power output on those channels is always lower. So even this three watt radio is limited to a half a watt on those specific channels that are shared with FRS. So it's a three watt radio from channels one to seven and from 15 to 30. You can program it down to half a watt if you want to do a lower watt of uh, lower power output. It's a half a watt from ch uh, channels 8 to 14, 2200 milliamp hour battery, which I showed you a minute ago. Programmable features are, it comes with the two pin programming cable. I don't remember if I showed you that or not, but this is a pretty standard prolific. It looks like a prolific chip cable, it looks like a TYT cable kind of, but a very standard connector on it. You can download the software from Bridgecom for free. Programmable features are a, a Vox, which is voice operation, a voice prompt for channel selection, scan, CT, CSS tones, two special DCS tone codes, digital PL tone codes, busy channel lockout, time at timer, power save, and alarm button. And then you can go through some other stuff here. What you get in the box is the unit itself, the Kenwood K1 USB programming cable, the battery, the belt clip, the wrist strap, the drop-in bucket charger with the USB cable, the USB to wall charger brick and a printed echo manual so this is a pretty standard uh, very durable feeling ht to go into the field with if you have a gmrs license you want to go out there and you want to do something a little bit more powerful with a little bit better range and a little bit louder speak maybe a little bit louder speaker simply because the radio is bigger a little bit better range because of more power a little bit louder speaker than your FRS radio you might have, which again, GMRS does require a license. So check the links in the description below for links to this radio, but also to some other GMRS videos that I have on this channel. And who has a GMRS license? Put your call sign in the comments below. Thanks for watching today.